Colleen goes on this proper rant. I'm telling you that video was heavy. It was 40. Actually, I clicked on it and I was like, first of all, it's been age restricted. And then 40 minutes. So I'm like, who has time to sit here and write? But I watched the whole thing, honey. Because she came with receipts and books and constitutions, honey. She was like, I am ready for this model suck. I am ready for you. Terry Podcast. Here we go. Home of entertainment, honey. I've listened to Maureen's side of the story. And to be really honest, I believe her. Because when I saw that open letter, I don't know, open, Frankie writing an open letter to his son. I was like, first of all, is your son even on social media? Even if he's on social media, can he read the things that you've told him? Or you're just writing this letter so that you can drag someone's name? That was my exact reaction. Because I was like, you see, this is very stupid. That you want to write a letter to someone who, first of all, is not on social media. And probably by the time they grow up. And they are well aware that my things were posted on Instagram. There, maybe after Instagram it was obsolete by that time. But you wanted to seek approval from a pack of strangers. I'm no longer going to be sending this money because I can see my kids as often as I want to. And I walked him through the conversation, which I recorded by the way. So, and I said, it's okay. And I asked him, so I asked you for structure. Um, and I didn't let you just walk all over me and these kids' lives. And now... Your solution is to not send upkeep for them. And I asked him a question and asked him, so you, when you don't do your duties, I stop taking care of the kids. Is that the solution? And he said, he said nothing, actually. I have it on record. Let me just tell you the truth. Whoever is going to suffer in this case, you are taught. It's not Frankie. It's not Maureen. It's the kids. They're the ones who are like, like real life, off social media, real life. Because Maureen says, Frankie, one has not been pulling his weight two she had to move out and she moved to another apartment which of course frank is not paying for because he was denied access to his kids she says that i call this man over so that we can sit have a deliberation we have a deliberate and a purposeful meeting to plan how we're going to co-parent because i think both of them know maureen is uh, you know probably she's the loudest and then frankie is that guy who shuts down like, I will shut down and not do that which you want me to do. And Maureen also claims that Frankie is nothing but an Instagram daddy. All he does is take pictures, post them, doesn't care what the kids are eating, doesn't know about insurance, could care less what is happening to the children. And Maureen says, I've gone back to paying school fees for my kids. And she also said, I am doing this because... I am so sure there are numerous women out there going through the exact same shit that I'm going through. Frankie showed up at the hospital at around 9. And I, I told him, I think we had a phone call, a messaging, and I told him the word we were at and all that. He showed up, empty-handed. Me, he came, sat there, uh, said hi to Kai, sat there. Enough. Is it so hard for Frankie if he's really someone who wants to be involved in his kids' lives? I don't know. I don't understand why men are like this, but I think it's also a pattern. Probably Frankie came from that kind of a home. And then now it's like he doesn't understand how to fully be there for his kids. Because it's not even about Maureen. Screw Maureen. Screw any... Your kids. So... From, from, you know, if Frankie really honestly and truly wanted to be 100% involved in these kids' lives, he would agree to that someone uh, by the lawyer. He would say, fine, let's have a sit down. To Pange, when will I be seeing the kids? Can we come up with a proper custody agreement? Like, okay, so maybe you'll be staying with the kids and then over the weekends, I'll take the kids and have them. And then weekdays, you'll have them because they're going to school. Then they can also agree that maybe anytime you can do random poppings, we don't have an issue with that, daddy. It's okay, you are our daddy. But Maureen is saying that you know this man just wants to pop out of nowhere. I'm stuck here too, you know. As in Zileza, I'm to a mingi aleo na kome na takawa toi. Something else that 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 struck a chord is you're saying you're denying me access to see the kids. 
So I'm not going to be sending you money. You're not sending that lady money. You're sending your kids money, you dimwit. What's wrong with men? Seriously, what is wrong with men? And that's why you're told, just please pick your baby mamas, your baby daddies, your wives, your husbands properly. And you know, watching that video, you could tell that Maureen is no longer, she's no longer even like stuck up on, on, on whatever, on Frankie. That, that's the vibe I got. It's just like, she's like, you know what, dude, I'm just like, listen, I am tired. You are irresponsible. You're non-committal. And you're an Instagram daddy. And if, if you're really, 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 really interested and keen to see your kids, sit down with this lady, have proper structures put in place that will guide you and will tell you that you're having the kids from Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know the kids, they have, at this point, I'm so sure the kids are very confused. And so that comes today, like in the next two months, we don't see him. Then three months later, we still don't see daddy. And then he pops up like a mushroom, like, hey, daddy's here. And then spends like three hours with the kids and goes. What do you think that is doing to the children? Amazon. It's like, you know, when we talk about collateral damage, this is exactly who she is. Caught smack in the middle of this beef between Frankie and Maureen. At some point, it's like Corazon happens to be that quiet person in the room. But then again, regardless of what she says or how she says it, people will still not take Corazon seriously. Corazon tells us that, you know, this baby, this hand is, she's a psychopath. She's, she's been off her meds and we feel like she needs to get back on her medication because she tried to attack me in the comfort of my home. She came for me in a house that I had built. I tried feeling sorry for her. I tried not saying anything on social media, but the day I will open my mouth to give my side of the story, then people will understand. But really, trust me, Corazon, nobody gives two shits. It's like you, you're you damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And even, even, even when you try to paint Maureen as a psychopath, whether she is or she's not, people have still labeled and will still label you as that home wrecker. and this is what i'm dishing like respect me nobody got time to rest i even was like regardless of whatever this babe or this hand says to us we'll rubbish it and we'll just say it's nonsense oh okay so she broke into your house so it, it, honestly it feels like that is the question a lot of people come at what do i mean like uh-huh kusha chachwa yankwisha vipi uko kwa franki na Corazon, Yamish, Bado, Tuangoja, Yataisha. That's how it feels like. So, I I honestly feel like whether or not this hand goes out t t telling people that, oh, this chick came, she tried to attack, <sighs> you're wasting your time. Wama, you just focus on you, focus on your child. Because easy Vita, easy Vita za, za, za Maureen na Frank, even Vita Vishi, leo wala kesho, and you got smack in the middle of that bullshit. Unfortunately, you cannot choose whom you love. You cannot choose whom you want to be with. But really, even if she tells a side of the story, because I know what I've seen people say that, you know what, the same thing that was happening between uh, Maureen and Frankie some years back is the same thing that's happening between yourselves and Frankie. And so it's going to be over. So she has not, I sort of feel like this hand has not set enough precedence for us to take her seriously. Whether she's on a rant or not, whether she wants to say that I have been the bigger person in this room, we are all like, shut up, Corazon, sit down, because mommy and daddy are fighting. <laughs> which is sad, which is so sad. And, and actually, when maybe Corazon starts,
starts complaining because she was like, I know that maybe this is not, this has not been written on the scribes for us. Probably we're going to break up because what on a simatum ta chana too. Yes, I'm not ruling that fact out. But maybe when that time comes and then Corazon comes around and tells us that Frankie has not been providing for his kids, she'll be slammed. I don't think about chokes slams in what the model comes as a WWE. Because people will be like, we don't want to hear it. You let's see Kumorena and Kwapala from the same, same things you try to defend. You're good for nothing, baby dad. I love you know, she's trying to literally distance herself from, from, from that chaos, but she's been caught smack in the middle of it. And you just call her. Why you say no run in the run in the Vita? Wanna to me cut where ni 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 sila wakatiwa vita mdo la kubeba ivarafu na semekana mido niko niko apa na pisilangu. Like in in actual sense, if we are to look at this, it's like baby mama. Baby, it's like mommy, daddy, then baby mama. Sad truths, but then really, who cares what Corazon has to say? We just like keep making your TikTok videos, honey, entertain us, make us feel good, talk to us about motherhood, but really, we do not care. We just want to know what's happening between Maureen and Frankie. Let's get back to part number to part two and analyze the video that uh, Maureen did telling Frankie. Enough is enough. But for now, really, Corazon simmer down. Tulia mtoto akike, tulia wele mtoto ako, na pengine usubiri. The hand right to break into my house. Yes, give us news. The hand is cuckoo. Okay, confirm something that probably most of the people don't know. Um... I've, you know, I had one of the house that I've built. Of course, confirm to us that you are the one who is taking care of Frankie. What else? I empathized. No, I I emphasized with the. I'm the one who emphasized with the Maureen because of the breakup. Okay, tell us something else that we probably did not know or we did not think about. Cause nobody gives two shits, Corazon. Honestly, nobody cares.